we have our first jungle animal spotting. Oh, dino. First animals in the jungle. <laughs> There's a wild Ecuadorian puppy. Oh my gosh, she's getting you so dirty. <laughs> it's okay, it's a jungle. Hello and welcome back to Nicole and Nico. If you have been following our channel for a little while, you will know that we were just exploring the salt flats in Bolivia, but since then we have made our way here to Ecuador. Despite being such a small country, it has so many things to offer. And in this video, we're gonna be exploring the Amazon rainforest over the next four days. Oh my gosh, isn't this the lodge? I feel like we're in like the middle of nowhere right now and all of a sudden we took a left and then this came out. Welcome to our lodge for the next four days. Double bed, mosquito nets, flowers, a teepee <laughs> for the center. <laughs> I like That's the awesome. creativity. Yeah, a big old room, a couple of hangers, makeshift closet, and washroom. Oh, hey, oh wow, there's a shower in here. Oh, and a mirror even. This room is super cool because it's like really open concept. There is a door to get into this room, but the window that you see here isn't really a window, it's actually just like a mesh. And then like above that and above the door, it's like... <laughs> open. It's all open, it's like the outside. So yeah, it's uh, really nice. Like I feel like... We are gonna be one with nature. Exactly. Which is the whole reason we're here. And the last thing to show is out here. We've got a hammock. I see a lot of reading in my future. This is gonna be an awesome place to spend the next four days. All right, we've settled into the lodge and it's gotten very, very dark. So we've put on our boots and we're gonna head out and do a night walking tour. Big spiders, a little cool looking stick bug, oh, spider babies, that was kind of neat. Crickets, huge crickets. More is coming, I'm sure. Cole well, found a tarantula. Hey, good job. Cool. Oh, wow. Okay, it's big, eh? Who is the volunteer? I need one hand. To do what? To catch the tarantula. Oh, can you catch it and then I'll touch it? <laughs> I don't know, I never try it. That's why I need no, just <laughs> yeah. A snake. Oh, oh, the branch. If you look close enough, Everything moves. It is so cool being out here because like, there's so much life. Like anytime I feel like I'm gonna touch a branch or anything like that, I kind of look at that branch first. And if you look hard enough, there's so many small things on it. It's so, so neat. Oh, whoa. whoa. Let's look at that. Whoa. Look how she is destroying the web. And look at that. Wow. Feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, in one way, it's bad for the cricket, but good for the spider. Good for the spider, yeah. And easy, we and we support one. spiders, eh? Yeah. They kill yeah. mosquitoes. They keep the blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We support spiders. Yeah. 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 Night tour was an absolute success. I can't believe all the things we saw. So many different kinds of spiders, even like gecko thingies. We saw a frog. Actually, I think it might have been a toad. <laughs> and a giant tarantula. There was just so much to see. We could have been out there all night. Then we might have died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the early morning wake up is definitely worth it. We are seeing tons of birds around here. And the funniest part is we're so deep in the jungle that we're like a five minute rowboat ride from the lodge to see all these birds here. They're like everywhere. And the sound that is coming from that way is a group of macaws. It's coming one, two, thing now. Macaw is a kind of paddle. Yes, the biggest one.
the very first. This is a perfect example of a prehensile tail. It is a tail like an extra hand. You guys look mildly relaxed. We just finished breakfast. It was amazing. We got a bit of downtime before our next hiking through the woods part of the day. And uh, with us today, we just want to show you guys, introduce James Hello. and Kayla. Our best friends from Canada, they're joining us on this trip, and uh, so far, so good. The jungle is a lot more relaxing than I thought it would be. Oh, yeah. Oh. Looking great, baby. Looking great? Do I look like I belong here? <laughs> Part of the jungle. Part of the jungle. It's cool. It's called a band-aid mushroom. You like rip it apart and then if you had a cut, just stick it on your cut. Just like that. And let it sit there and it gets dry and then poof, jungle band-aid. I think just the face painting just really legitimizes what Nicole has to say. Normally they have this exoskeleton like this. <laughs> Ooh, it tickles! Oh, it tickles! <laughs> He's like, run! <laughs> this little guy is a magic mushroom. He says that the local people actually can use them for, like, to get rid of parasites that they have in their stomachs, but other people just use them to get high. Holy smokes! <laughs> uh -huh. You see? And more mm. water appear, and more water, more water, more it's water. It's amazing. It tastes so good. It tastes like normal water. Oh! Mm. It's very sour. It tastes like green apple. I like that. Oh, you can put a little bit this one. You just need this liquid, like, open the nose. Mm. The Oh, 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 it burns. A little jungle oh. medicine for the flu. Oh, everything's clear. It's making me hungry though, it really smells like garlic. Oh, I don't know if I want to eat them. So it tastes like lemon? Oh, lemon. Mm -hmm. Lemony. <laughs> so those are the lemon ants, and they taste, taste like, like lemon. lemon. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> oh, oh, it's trippy. <laughs> it moves in the way that you would expect a spider to move. Still, just the exoskeleton. Does it dry up? <laughs> Lick it. Well, that's a cool find. <laughs> <laughs> Is this fun? Whoa. So, what do you guys think? So cool, mm -hmm. so hot, so yeah. many trees, so many trees. <laughs> Definitely oh, yeah. not the full jungle experience. We were supposed to be there for two hours. We were there for three and a half. <laughs> I'm exhausted, <laughs> hungry. It is hot. <laughs> Worth it. Okay, vegetable cream soup, eaten the Ecuadorian way. This <laughs> is so cool. Oh, is it buttery? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna start with that because I don't want them all to get mushy. Mm. It's like having, oh, that's good. It's like having crackers in your soup. <laughs> if your crackers were buttery. So this is a typical food from the highland. We call this also tortillas. Finished breakfast. Now we're getting in the boat to go to a paddleboard spot. <laughs> we are paddleboarding in the Amazon. This is not something I ever thought I would do in my whole thinking life. Yeah, this is uh, not bad at all. You just have to get over the fact that there might be something in the water that might want to eat you. This is cool. Every day on this trip, I think like, this is the best day. This is the top day of this trip. And then the next day comes. How's the water? It's uh, 
super refreshing. Not terrifying at all. It's actually not bad. Do you see anything in the water? Well, the, that's the, I think that's what freaks you out, is you can't see anything. Look, I'm orange. Like, you can't see anything. So, I don't know if it's good or bad. The only thing to worry about I are was hearing something. piranhas. Piranhas, caimans, scary fish that go into your body. It does like it, I think. So far, so good. This is awesome. Is it scary? Not really. No. I just feel like I'm swimming in a river. A river possibly full of piranhas or something. <laughs> We're in the water and we were soaking wet and then it started raining so heavily and uh, yeah, it doesn't really make much of a difference at this point. This is the coolest thing, man. I guess I could stay here all day. Yeah, the rain disappeared and now it's got really sunny really quickly. putting the paddle boards away right now, but right as we end our uh, paddle boarding experience, the uh, Pink River Dolphins have come up. All right, we're off the boat. That was a super wet ride, but man, was it all worth it. Oh my God. I think that was so far absolutely my favorite like experience and like thing that we've done all this trip. Literally, as I was like coming back up to the boat to get off of my paddleboard, um, like three feet in front of my paddleboard, the top of a dolphin emerged. And oh was, my like, God. It was so cool. Oh man. We have been in the boat a whopping three minutes and we are at the location where we're gonna go piranha fishing. It's <laughs> a little scary. <laughs> are piranhas like that close to where we're staying that it's only a three minute boat ride? <laughs> Seems so. <laughs> I love how this activity comes after we go paddle boarding and swimming in the water. <laughs> I think that was on purpose. Okay, raw meat. <laughs> fishing rod? All right, let's try this. Fresh meat, fresh meat. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. <laughs> We're running for you. Fresh meat, fresh meat. That's oh, oh, <laughs> so heavy. <laughs> That's so heavy. 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 That's so I felt it and then I pulled him out and then he disappeared before I could really have a look, good look at him. He was definitely was, a fish. There was something it wasn't there. Me. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Last chance. Well, we had a great time. <laughs> but, uh. Don't fish. I didn't catch anything. Let's just say if we were a village, we'd probably starve tonight. Thankfully, we're not. We're gonna go have a delicious dinner, I'm sure. We are back up and on the boat at 6 a.m. to go find animals. That was the Miller Saki monkey. He's like super fluffy. Apparently not that big, but they look big because they're so hairy. <laughs> I was napping. <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you. We were talking about tapir. Wow. That is a tapir. A tapir. Tapir? I think I'm saying that right. It's a mammal? I don't know. It's like a tiny little elephant crossed with a rhino and an anteater. And it swims really well, I guess. Where did he go? <laughs> we found this small 
I have no idea how our guide found this thing. Um, and there's no way we're gonna be able to catch it on the camera, but we found it. I can see it in the binoculars. He looks like he's sleeping. Right there. Well, now the dolphins are out. This has to be the best morning. <laughs> wow, what a morning. We saw so many things. That was so cool. It's definitely worth the early morning wake up, but now it's time for breakfast. It's a pretty cool spot, right? Wow. This has been possibly the fastest four days of our whole lives. I don't know if we've said it or not, we are here with Wida Lodge is the name of the company that we chose. And they have been honestly so incredible. So if you're looking to come on an Amazon tour, we highly recommend Wida Lodge. Yeah. And our guy Diego has been just phenomenal. I don't know how he sees these animals. I just, <laughs> he's, I only see his green brush and trees. It's like he stops the boat, stop. <laughs> Look there, I'm like what? What is there? So, uh, in the same way that we came in here in the rain, we'll be <laughs> leaving here in the rain, and I think we'll leave you guys there as well. Mm -hmm. We will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> and it's no. gonna be the first for the cold eye, so we're really, really excited. Because we're always really excited, you know? Really, really excited. Yeah. Always super, really excited. And I think next up is some paddle boarding. 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 Paddle boarding. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so scared. Ah! Ha, 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 ha.